So I, I just returned this morning uh, from Poland and Romania. And um, I'll tell you that everything that you were watching on television, I know makes you understand and feel the importance of this moment on many levels. Russia's invasion threatens not just Ukraine's democracy, it threatens democracy and security across Europe, and by extension, when democracy is threatened anywhere, it threatens us all. Uh, days before I traveled to Poland, with many of you, I was in Selma to commemorate the 57th anniversary of the march across the Edmund Pettus Bridge, that historic place, which is a stark reminder that we must always remain vigilant to safeguard freedom and democracy. And we must always remember the duality of a democracy in that, yes, there is strength, but a democracy by its nature is also fragile. You know, when the president and I took office, our country was facing the aftermath of a reckless president, the COVID-19 pandemic, and questions about America's leadership on the world stage. We had a plan and we rebuilt relationships with our allies. And the results of that effort are clear as we stand together in this unified rebuke of Russia. The President and I also proposed, with your leadership, with your help, the American Rescue Plan. And since that plan was enacted last year, we went from 2 million people vaccinated to over 215 million vaccinated in our country. <laughs> Businesses are back open and 99% of our schools are no longer remote. We went from 60,000 jobs created each month to 678,000 jobs created last month and over 7 million total jobs created since we took office. We passed a once-in-a-generation infrastructure law. And it will create more jobs. It will rebuild communities. I'm sorry, it will create more jobs, including good union jobs. <laughs> and we didn't stop there. More than 70% of the judicial nominees we have appointed are women. More than 70%. And of course, the president recently nominated Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson to the United States Supreme Court. As the president laid out in his State of the Union, it's time to bring down costs, the costs of living, even more. It is time to create more union jobs. It is time to ensure that everyone has an opportunity to succeed. It is time to defend our democracy and be vigilant in its defense and to safeguard our planet for generations to come. It is time to do so much more. So our job is the job of just supporting the people, supporting their voices, supporting their will and desire of what their government has a responsibility to deliver. So that when I go overseas, when the president goes over the seas, when you talk to folks and we say America is a beacon, it is a model, that we can actually back that up. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing.